How you doing? Today we're going to be cleaning up this uh, Hurley kitty toy tow truck and original paint color was apparently red and we're going to hit this with a wire brush and we're going to go over it. Get it as cleaned up as best we can. And we'll decide from there whether we want to restore this fully or just repaint this. Alright. We'll get started in here in a second. Second thing and why I want to get this thing cleaned is I don't know if that's lead paint. And we're going to find out. I don't think that it is, but unless. And I've got that one little dent right there to beat out, which won't be too hard. So, let's get started. Okay, little backstory on the history of Hubley, which is the company that makes these. They started in 1894 and didn't start producing toys till 1901. And they made intricate little toys that, you know, were cars. Uh, they built, did a uh, Packard and another kind of truck that was so intricately detailed it came with its own tools where you could I guess you could take apart the engine um, I'm going to put a picture up here of the uh, car that we're working on and what it looks like complete uh, this particular one either came out in the 50s or 60s uh, most things I've seen said 50s uh, the Wikipedia says because it says kitty toys it came out in the 60s which is very possible but who knows Wikipedia could be wrong uh, anyway this particular one came in uh, from what I can tell like three different colors which is green a orangey kind of color and then red which is what I believe this one came in not sure from looking at it uh, might be the orange color just from over time it looks kind of red to explain why it looks kind of brick red but anywho uh we're gonna try and take this one as far as we can go with it uh i may actually end up ordering a parts car and it's looking like i'm going to considering the axle pieces didn't break when i took the old axle pieces off um, I don't exactly know if I could use the old axle pieces. It'd be cool if I could. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, with these little toy restorations and small little restorations, uh, I can do kind of a lot with it and we'll see what happens. Uh, I know might be able to do something with the cap gun we found. Not particularly sure. The most I'd want to do with that would be, uh, finding a another side to it but uh that's also from the 50s and where i'm i found this stuff it's either from the 50s or 60s who knows if it's been in there that long you know it could have been thrown in there during the 70s or 80s or something who knows but uh it sure is nice to see these things get cleaned up and uh restored and I enjoy doing this kind of stuff and I mean if you enjoy me doing this kind of stuff please leave a like leave comments let me know uh, I've always kind of like trying to bring back to life stuff as best I can uh, and I hope y'all like these little time lapses of me trying to clean this stuff this one was a little different um, eventually I'll have a kind of setup where I can do this really different and really nice uh but you know we'll see what happens
Alrighty, y'all. This is it all done. Came out pretty nice on top. I did get the bottom as best as I could. I'll have to see if I can get some sandpaper sticks or something. Not sure yet. Uh, but I might take this down all the way or I might leave it like that. I don't know. I kind of like the patina of it, but at the same time, I kind of want it to look original and I may get a parts car, get some new axles and wheels. Maybe some new sides for it, depending on how it goes. I'd like to fully restore this. I want to take these dents out, and apparently there's a dent right there that I got to take out. Surprisingly, this went really well, and this survived being in a creek that was full of rocks that destroyed just about everything else, which amazes me. Because if you look, the Jeep was obliterated through time and probably just natural erosion, but there's that. And the pistol broke apart. Who knows if that was from that or whatever, but I found out this pistol comes from the 50s as well as this truck so it's safe to assume that tricycle probably comes from the uh, 50s I don't know if that Jeep does it might but I'll probably clean that Jeep up on its own so all right everybody I hope y'all are doing well I hope y'all are doing great and I really hope everybody's having a good time and getting ready for the Halloween holiday if you celebrate it if you don't that's okay and I was really hoping that y'all do well alrighty y'all we'll holler at y'all later